Let's say you need to get a college degree to get your dream job. You can get it in one year without too much work, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm Dr. Clifford Stemme. I hacked my own college degree and became a professor who worked from the inside to help students graduate college quicker and cheaper. I even ran the world's largest hackable degree program, but I quit it all to start my own business and to show you how to hack college for yourself. And if you want help with any of the things that we talk about in this video, you can schedule a consultation with me and I can help you graduate quickly and inexpensively so you can build a career that you love. That being said, let me show you how to graduate college in one year. College hacking requires backwards planning, so you need three goals. First goal, what job or graduate program are you trying to access with this degree? Make sure you know what the job or admission requirements are so that you can achieve that goal. And right here, I'm linking to my free YouTube course on how to hack college. One of the videos in there is gonna show you the five most in-demand, highest paying jobs out there right now. Second goal, what major do you need? And third goal, what college will help you get that major quickly and inexpensively? I'm assuming you already know what your first goal is, so let's talk major. And college degrees generally have three separate parts. We're gonna use this business degree from Liberty University as an example. First off, you have the general education, which is typically going to be like a review of high school type subjects like history, math, science, literature. The major area is full of the courses that you are actually there for and the content that you actually want to learn. And then you've got the free elective section, which generally can be just about anything. The larger the free electives and the less specialized the major, the easier the degree is gonna to be to hack. You wanna aim for at least 30 credits in the free electives and either around or lower than 45 credits in the major area. In fact, there's a video in my free college hacking course about the five best college majors out there. Of course, if you really wanna go fast, I recommend that you look into what I call Chipotle degrees, like interdisciplinary studies, liberal studies, general studies, multidisciplinary studies type degrees, where essentially you get to build the major yourself and have a guaranteed very large free elective section. That kind of flexibility is gonna suck up transfer credits and give you lots of opportunity to hack the curriculum. Once you've picked a major, you gotta pick a college. And I really recommend schools with flexible transfer policies that are gonna only require a minimum of 30 credits be done at their school. Competency-based course design is gonna be better probably than traditional asynchronous course design. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that they accept a lot of hacking-friendly credits. A really good way to test this is just to see how many CLEP exams they accept. And if they accept at least 25, you're probably good. Of course, you could always just skip all of that work and check out my free course and watch a video on the seven best colleges out there for hacking. And congrats. You have finished step one. You've got the three goals. And if you're interested in hammering this kind of stuff out, talking about picking colleges and majors and finding the best one for each student is exactly what I do in my pick a college, pick a major consultation. Now we need to find the cheapest, quickest way to earn college credit to fill up the major that you've chosen. And this step is a little bit harder. When most people fill up the three different sections of their degree plan, they take traditional college courses or maybe community college courses and then end up graduating in four to six years and for somewhere between 50 and $100,000. And here's what's wrong with that system. Traditional college courses measure two things. One, your ability to understand and show that you have mastery of the material. And two, your ability to wait 16 weeks until you've waited enough time to be able to be granted college credit. What you need are competency-based credit alternatives. That's a fancy way of saying college credit that only measures your knowledge, not your ability to wait. For instance, CLEP exams, which my free course covers, are a type of exam that you can take, and if you get a high enough score, over 3,000 colleges in the United States will give you college credit for passing that test. Another option is Sophia Learning, which is like a college course, but it's at your own pace, and it only costs $100 a month for as many Sophia courses as you can get through. And of course, I also discuss it in my free course. There are a lot of other ones out there too. There's straighterline.com, there's study.com, there's DSST, there's Sailor Academies, there's Alex. There are just a ton of competency-based ways to earn college credit that don't cost you an arm and a leg. And once you understand them and how to pass them, it's time to apply them to your degree. And here's an example of what a plan like that would look like. Here's a consultation I did with a client who was interested in going to Southern New Hampshire University. Uh, he ended up not going there, so the plan is only partially complete. But you can see that we mapped out what the requirements were at Southern New Hampshire, and then we figured out what courses would fulfill those requirements, and then we listed how many credits those courses were worth, and then we found a Sophia, CLEP, DSST, Straight Align, et cetera, way of earning that credit instead of actually going to Southern New Hampshire for those courses. And we did that for all of the major sections, the general education, the major courses, and the free electives. And again, this isn't a fully fledged out plan. It hasn't listed everything, but you get the basic idea. As you're building this plan, you'll probably find that the general education area is pretty hackable because generally CLEP and Sophia are designed to hack out of general education areas. The major courses are gonna be a little bit more difficult. Um, there are gonna be some majors that are more or less, but if you use study.com, you'll be able to hack out of more than you expected. And then there are the free electives, which generally 
can be completely hacked out of every single credit. At the end of it, a plan like this for most majors should have you hacking about 90 credits and only having to take 30 credits through the college itself. And if you build this plan correctly, your degree could end up costing you somewhere between five to $15,000 and only taking you like one to two years to finish. Of course, this is the kind of stuff that I do weekly with people in my course by course consultations and I would be happy to do the same thing for you. But this video is about graduating in one year. So let's make that happen. Let's say you chose the University of Maine at Presque Isle because they're competency based so you can do them at your own pace. Plus their Bachelor of Liberal Studies with a management minor has an incredibly large number of free electives. And so you're gonna be able to definitely hack that 90 credit max. If you're gonna graduate in one year, you're gonna need to earn those 90 credits in about 36 weeks. On average, that's gonna be about eight days per Sophia, Clap, or whatever you decide to use. And that's very doable, but it's gonna be several hours of work a day. Some Clep exams, you could go out and pass right now, I have no doubt. And there are gonna be some Sophia courses that it only takes you a couple of days to go through. But there are gonna be other Clep, Sophia, Study.com, Straight Align, DSST, what have you, that are gonna take you two, maybe even three weeks. So you have to be disciplined enough with the easy ones to finish them quickly so that you have time to work on the harder ones. And if you need help studying for the Clep exams, I suggest using the seven day strategy I talk about in my free course. If you keep to that eight days per course schedule, by the end of 23 weeks, you should have 60 college credits. At that point, I would recommend that you go ahead and apply to the University of Maine at Presque Isle, send your credits over, just to make sure that they're all fitting into the right spots. But don't sign up for courses yet. Over the next five weeks, go ahead and hack out of five more courses, bringing the total up to 75 credits. And then it's time to take courses. In your first eight week term at UMPI, you need to knock out their two easiest courses that you have in your degree and the three hardest courses. The reason we do the two easiest first is so that you can learn the rhythm and the pace and the expectations for a UMPI course while the stakes are low. And then you do the three hardest ones so that if you fail them, you can always retry them in your next term. The way UMPI courses work, you have to go through the course content, which you can pretty much fly through because it's a lot of textbooks and videos. Then at the very end, you have to do one big project to prove that you actually learned what the course was designed to teach you. And that project can be submitted twice, once for feedback and once for a final grade. So make sure that you're submitting it that first time every single time so that you get the feedback and know what your mistakes are so that when you submit it the second time, you know that you're gonna get a passing grade. Generally, I'd say you should aim to spend about 11 days per UMPI course, seven days going through the content, two working on the first draft, one day taking a break, and then one more day fixing all the things that the professor said to do before you submit the final. Of course, if your professor takes a couple of days to get back to you with feedback, then you should be spending those days working on the next course. Once you finish your first eight-week term at UMPI, you should have 90 credits, and then go ahead and take another term off from UMPI and spend that time finishing up your final hacking credits, Clep Sophia. And if you had any failed before that you need to catch up on or try again, now's a great time to knock those out. After those eight weeks, take your final term at UMPI, get 15 more credits to bring you up to a total of 120 credits and officially you will have graduated. And here's why it's so ridiculous that people go to college the normal way because at the end of this process, you will have spent one year to get a bachelor's degree and you will have spent under $4,000 to do it. And best of all, at the end of all of this, you'll be ready to go and accomplish what we talked about at the beginning of the video, goal number one, that dream job or that graduate degree that will then get you to that dream job. What you just saw, that goal building and degree planning is exactly the kind of stuff that I do in consultations with my clients in my pick a college, pick a major consultation and my course by course building consultation. And while most people don't have the time or energy to graduate in one year, it's very possible to graduate in a year and a half or two years, saving 30 to $40,000 on your degree. I'm helping people do it every single week and I'd love to help you do the same in as little as a 45 minute session. Whatever your goals are, I wish you the best. Thanks for watching and happy hacking.